everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new i'm so excited for today's video because i got a package in the mail today this is from huda beauty and in today's video we are going to be testing out the new powder from glowish so i thought it would be fun to just kind of unbox it with you because i just got home washed my face it's kind of why my face is a little bit blotchy and red because i used some warm water because the elf mascara is just no joke to wash off and then I dried my face with a towel. So we're starting with some fresh skin, but that's kind of why my face is all red. I am so excited for this. Actually, I was just about to put on some primer from ColourPop to kind of prep the skin since I did just wash it. And I remember now that I got a little sample of the Huda primer. So we will try that one to start out with. So this is just a, a little sample of the Water Jelly Primer. It says it's fragrance free, which I'm so excited about. This is definitely on my wish list after Emily from Emily's Makeup Bag always is talking about that primer and it looks really nice on her skin. Uh, this is a little sample of the Wishful Yo Glow. I'm not gonna be using that today because I don't wanna try new skincare and new makeup. So I might try that later, but for now, just the other products. And this is nice. It comes in like a nice little bubble bag, which is a zip bag. So you could really reuse this and I will definitely be keeping it to reuse. But the two products that I got that weren't little samples is the Huda Beauty Foundation. I got this in the shade Vanilla 120B and then the powder from Glowish. So I got this in the shade 01 Fair, which is the lightest shade that they came out with. This just came out two days ago. I'm so impressed that it's already here. This is the packaging here. It's kind of like what they did with their bronzer, which I also really want to try where it's like a square and the lid is round. And yeah, I'm excited to try it out. So um i put a vote or a poll on my instagram if you guys wanted to see just the powder if you wanted me to do the foundation and then just set it with the powder or if you wanted to do like a split face and do a little bit of each so we're gonna do that you guys voted to kind of do a split face and try different things so that you could see how it works in different ways you guys voted i think mostly for the split face and then between the other three most of the votes were to use a foundation and set it with the powder and the next amount of votes were to use the powder with a light coverage so what i think i'm going to do is put this foundation on half of my face and then set it with the powder do like a light layer of powder so you can see how it looks on the skin and then try and build it up so that would kind of get everyone in there no matter what you wanted to see hopefully you'll be able to see all of it here in this video and then it is about six o'clock right now um, at night and so i'm going to wear it probably until about nine maybe ten i want to get this video up tonight so i don't know how long the wear test will be so i'm thinking i'm going to wear it i'll probably wear it for about three hours and then go ahead and upload this video and then i will leave a note in the description tomorrow i will wear whatever i like the best i'll tell you at the end of this video how we're going to be doing it so enough talking let's go ahead and jump into it first up i'm going to use this primer i'm going to put this all over my face with the foundation and the powder side. Hopefully I don't regret this because this is a new primer to me, but I don't usually have anything weird happen with kind of hydrating primers. This is also like a really cute little sample. After I wash my face, I'd like to put something on. And if it's not gonna be a moisturizer, then I would like it to be a moisturizing primer. So hopefully this doesn't mess anything up. But yeah, tomorrow I'll pick what my favorite way was to wear it and then I'll do that and I'll leave a note tomorrow how this wore throughout the whole day so I really hope that will be helpful for you guys this is actually a lot more tacky than I was expecting so that could be a good thing I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair up okay I want to just show you my skin beforehand it's honestly probably a good thing that it's a little bit red and blotchy so that you can get a really good idea of the coverage level I don't really deal with acne. Um, I've got really, really dry skin. I think that kind of plays a part into it, but I do have quite a bit of redness. And so there are some things that I would like to even out and cover up. For the foundation, I'm going to use my little metal palette and just pump it onto the palette. I'm not gonna need a whole lot, so we'll just start with that. And my plan here is going to be to use a brush. This is the Japanesque 962 brush. I think that's how you say this brand. Japanesque, I think so. I got it from TJ Maxx, but it's my favorite foundation brush. It's just a flat one. And I'm just going to blend this out 
I know this isn't new, but they did recently take the fragrance out of it, which is really the only reason that I wanted to try it at all. But the only reason that I really had a lot of interest in this foundation is because they took the fragrance out. So if you were interested in also, then you can see how it looks, at least on my skin. I do think it's a pretty good shade match for me, especially in kind of more like natural light because it's super gloomy here today. So I did have to use my lights, but I'm just going to pick the rest of this up on a sponge and blend it out. My first impressions of this foundation just from using the little sample is pretty good. I really like it a lot. I'm going to add a little bit more just with the sponge because I like the finish that it gives. I'm surprised. I thought this was going to be glass packaging, but it's plastic. To me, it doesn't really matter. I think I would prefer glass, but it was just kind of more of like I was surprised by it. Okay, I think I was so excited I forgot to mention, but this foundation is $40 and the powder is $33. I bought them together and got free shipping on Huda's website and I also got 10% off of both of them. And again, the shipping only took two days from the day that I ordered it, so I think that's really good. Okay, I'm gonna set this side of the face with the powder and I went onto the website and it says how to use step one, swirl brush onto powder and apply all over face, building to desired coverage and glow. Huda's hacks is Light to medium coverage apply with a fluffy brush, which is what we're going to do on this side. And then medium to high coverage is apply with a damp sponge or dense brush. Dimensional radiance after application of our glowish multi dew skin tint set with powder to add extra dimension. Finish with a spritz of Huda Beauty Glow Cocoa for a super... I don't have that spray, so we're just going to leave that part off. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use this really fluffy brush. This is also from Japanesque, and this is the number 960. I'm just going to pick up some powder with it and I am going to try and set like the whole face. Okay, I actually do think it added a little bit of glow. You can kind of see when I move my face, but it seems really nice. There's no tackiness left on the foundation, so it did set it. To set underneath the eye, I'm going to use this brush from Nabla. This is their Precision Powder Brush. I do typically use this brush to set up underneath the eyes. So I'm just going to do that with this powder so you can kind of see how it would look underneath the eyes. I'm also going to set the eyelid with this. I actually feel like this really looks nice. <laughs> Um, the foundation looks slightly flat on its own, which I don't have a problem with because sometimes I do want a matte look and you can always kind of change the finish of a matte foundation um, by adding something into it like a primer or the Charlotte Tilbury, what's it called? Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I think that this looks really nice. By my nose, um, the foundation is kind of sitting there. You can definitely see that. But I think that might be because... I didn't blend it in very well right here. I don't wear a lot of full coverage foundations, so I just didn't think to do that. But I think that's more so how I blended the foundation. So I'm kind of actually wondering if I picked up a little bit of the powder on my sponge, if that would help. Mm, I don't love how that looks, to be honest. I think you guys can probably really see that there like the, just the line but I probably could have like I said blended that a little bit better when I first put on the foundation there's a little bit of settling here that's gonna happen it's a full coverage foundation and I do have lines that makes sense but overall I think that this side of my face looks like super good like just a nice glow to the skin especially <laughs> can we just take a minute like the redness and then I feel like I just look crazy right now. But yeah, I really like that. So let's move on to this side of the face with just the powder. So Huda's tip was to use a fluffy brush and just swirl it in the powder for a light finish. I think this brush might be a little bit too fluffy, but we're gonna see kind of how it looks. I think it definitely has some coverage here. Definitely covering up some of this redness. I saw a video of her applying this 
with a sponge. But something I was thinking about was using the Bare Minerals foundation brush. Okay, if you were going like really, really minimal, I think it looks really good right here. Right here, it's still pretty red, but I don't know. Like, it definitely toned down the redness, right? I think it looks better. <laughs> um, I think it looks less red than it was looking for sure. And it's definitely a light coverage and it really looks like a nice, healthy glow. I'm actually really surprised. I don't know how well you guys will be able to tell here. It's not glittery, like it's actually just a nice glow or like sheen to the skin. And I feel like if you just put on like a little bit of concealer here, but maybe a lighter coverage concealer and then put this on, that it would be really nice. I do wanna try out this brush from Bare Minerals. This is the Beautiful Finish brush. And since it's more densely packed, I did wanna see kind of how that would look. I'm just gonna do this like on the forehead here and then we'll use this sponge on the cheek, but I'm just going to swirl this around in here. I know it's different because this is a press powder, but I just wanted to try that out. I feel like it's gonna be really glowy on its own. Yeah, that's like really glowy. Okay, personally, that, I don't like that. That's not the move. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like you could see my forehead from really far away, especially if you look at it compared to this side here. It's like extremely glowy, but I do wanna try it with a sponge. Like I said, I saw her do that in her video. Um, I'm just going to pick it up. I've got a wet sponge, so I did dampen it in the sink before this. I picked up some of this powder. There is not any hard pan, which I'm very happy with after putting the wet sponge in it. Okay, so I'm just going to press this in to the skin and see how it does. That's, I think, covering up more of the redness. It's really glowy. I don't know, I know she mentioned using the glowish foundation and then putting this on top. That'd be really, really glowy, which I'm into sometimes, but I mean, this powder is like no joke. It's really, really luminous. <laughs> but it, it looks really good in my opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the eyelid. It doesn't have any product right now. Typically I would use like an eyeshadow base on my eyelid. Now there is some like left on the sponge. So I'm gonna try and like press that on and see if it comes off. No, it's like still on there. So I guess because the sponge is wet, maybe I'm going to add some on top of the foreheads because <laughs> um, I don't think a dense brush is the way to go with this. When I'm looking at myself, I feel like it looks really glowy, really healthy, really pretty. But when I look up close, I can really tell that now I've got it like in the middle of the line here is a little crazy, but my texture seems to be a little bit emphasized. Let me get closer and see if you can see it. I really hope you guys can see here, but what I'm looking at here is like my pores are very emphasized and I don't think that they're quite so emphasized on this side. I know my smile line is and the nose I think looks better, but I really think that was user error because I'm not used to full coverage foundations, but I really think the powder kind of, kind of emphasized that texture up close. Right now I'm liking this side much better, just kind of using it as like a finishing powder or a setting powder because underneath my eyes still looks pretty good and the rest of the face does too. But over here, I'm talking like glowy. <laughs> so if that's kind of like what you are wanting, then yes, but I think it might be a little bit too glowy for my everyday preferences. So take that as you will with whatever your preference is, but I do think this is a nice powder for $33. I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more but I did want to show you just a swatch of it. So you can see here, like it's, it's pretty glowy. I'm going to try and build it up some since this is supposed to be a buildable powder. Um, yeah, I mean like it's, it's definitely glowy on my hand too. It kind of looks more like a highlight off of my first impressions. I really like how this looks on top of a mattifying foundation. I think that it makes it look a little bit more like skin and less, cakey I guess but you still get that full coverage 
I don't think it looks like I put on a full coverage foundation. I feel like it looks really healthy and like I just have really great skin and everything is really evened out. But you can see the nice glow here, which is definitely from that powder as I'm kind of like moving my face. And I think that looks really nice. The combo, I'm really into. But powder alone, I'm going to need some more time with, I think, because this is just like not what I go for every single day. All right, you guys, I went ahead and kind of did my brows, mascara, and lips just to like make myself look a little bit more put together. I think for the price point, the powder, I'm going to have to see kind of how I feel about it. But so far, I really like the foundation. This is not my first time to wear it as I did have like a little bitty tester from Sephora. But... As I mentioned before, make sure to check the description box below if this video has been out for at least a day or come back tomorrow if you're watching it today. And I will put a note down there how this combo wears tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wear it for about three hours tonight and then I'll come back and show you what it's looking like. All right, you guys, as I'm sitting down to film this clip, it is nine o'clock on the dot. So it has been about three hours that I have had this on. I know it's not the longest wear test, but I do want to get this video up for you guys tonight. I've got the rest of it edited. I got the thumbnail ready. I just need this part of the video <laughs> um, so I can start getting that ready for you guys to go up. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of pop in and show you what we're looking like. So again, here's the side with the um, foundation underneath. I do have some settling here um, on my smile lines. Um, and then on my nose, it's picked up a little bit. That's kind of from where I was like blending it in earlier when I didn't blend it in very well. Yeah, so you can see here kind of around the nose, like a little bit of breaking up, some settling. None of that is like unnormal. This we already talked about, I didn't blend it very well. I don't think when I first put it on. Smile lines, that's gonna happen no matter what. But on this side, only in three hours, I do think it's kind of gotten even more oily, especially like right here. And I feel like it looks kind of purple. Um, yeah, also I have a line here I'm noticing. I always have that. I've got a really deep set forehead line. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you pretty close up that you can see hopefully the lines I'm talking about, kind of what's going on here, and just how glowy this side is over here. <laughs> um, honestly, though, it looks pretty similar to how it looked three hours ago. It hasn't really been that long. Um, I'm super interested to see how this will wear tomorrow. So for the 15th time, I'll have a note in the description after tomorrow. But honestly, like overall, I really like the powder. I don't have a whole lot to say about it that's negative, except for, I, th I feel like some in some regard, it's kind of being marketed as a powder foundation. I know it says luminous pressed powder, but in Huda's video, when she put it on, as like almost a full coverage foundation. I just don't really see that. I was anticipating it covering a little bit more with the sponge than it did, but I don't think I'll be wearing the powder by itself, to be honest. I'll probably just mostly use it as sort of like a finishing powder or a powder to set a more matte foundation. But all right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed um, seeing how the powder looks on my skin in multiple different ways. Thank you guys for voting over on my Instagram how you wanted me to do this because I really wasn't sure if I should do like the split face kind of thing and I'm glad that I did because I do think it gave me two kind of different opinions about the powder and it really gave me a full circle way to test it out. So again, thanks for voting. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more content from me. Let me know down below what you want to see from my channel. And with that being said, that's it for me today and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!